Hello everyone and welcome back to Calm Lands. This is the multiplayer co-op with Nordic Farming and we have reached episode number 9. That's right, we are back in the Land of Calm and last time we had uh, quite a job. It was our heyday. We had to get the uh, feed all ready for the cows. They took uh, quite a bit to uh, get up to full capacity and then whatever we had left we put in a new uh, silo which is good for storing the hay and also it can ferment it into silage should we need to sell and we had about 120,000 uh, litres of uh, excess hay so that's going to be good to keep the cows fed for a long time but yes we had a new area that we purchased to get that hay and yeah now we really need to convert that area into a proper field. So Nordic and I are starting off by grabbing the ploughs, the lizard subsoilers, nine meters, and then we are going to set about work on those fields. Ah, okay, there's quite a bit of equipment in the way. I might be able to squeeze through. Seems like I was the lucky one to get the uh, the blue subsoiler that's not behind anything. There we go. And Nordic just me needs to move the spreader out of the way and then he can fetch the Schluter colour coordinated subsoiler as well. There he is. He's ready. So let's boogie on down to area 47 it is and yeah we'll be creating a new field so we need to come up with a suitable name for it i was thinking we could call it hitman field because uh it's area 47 like agent 47 but i'm sure there'll be a better name than that all right here we are new silo just gone past on the left and our cows are all nicely fed and watered. But now we need to turn our attention to the new field. And uh, yeah, we need to turn the mini map on so we can get a good indication of uh, where our field boundary is. Right, so let's uh, unfold. Need to make sure we've got uh, create fields on. Turn the beacon off. Uh, create fields on. Perfect. So let's uh, just get lined up. Lower away. And we can set off. Yeah, I was just uh, debating whether we uh, start a bit further to the right so we don't have to curve around this rock and tree area. But Nordic and I agreed that we could just curve around it quite nicely there we go and I've got a handy guide I can just follow where we mowed last time so leaving a bit of a boundary just to keep the fields separate but that is all good so yeah we're getting this field ploughed up and after we've ploughed it up we will have to lime it and then we will have to get a crop in it and we'll need to get a crop in our other fields as well we've neglected them for a little while now just while we've invested the time setting the cows up in terms of crop Nordic and I have had a little think about what we're gonna do and we're thinking the next venture will be doing some pigs we never got round to pigs on Spectacle Island, so it would be quite nice to do in Calm Lands. So yeah, we're going to do pigs, and pigs are quite needy. So yeah, we need to make sure we've got the right crops to keep them productive. So the thoughts are, we will use the sorghum that we've got left over in the silo. And then we've got to plant some barley 
or the other amount of productivity. I think sorghum or corn does 50%, then wheat or barley does 20, and then soybean does another 20. So here we're going to do one barley field, one soybean field, and then we're going to use the sorghum we've got in the silo. So that's going to, you know, be pretty good. Anyway, Nordic and I are going to see to this field. And see you when we're done. Right, that's the field all ploughed up. Nordic's just finishing the last little slither over there. Left a small border between uh, the new field and this one here. And that's uh, just because uh, the fields are going to be separate. But at some point we might adjoin them to make uh, larger fields as we expand. So, yeah, next job we need to get that limed. So heading back to the farm and in order to lime we need to get the spreader and the auger wagon. Right, that's the subsoiler put away. Let's grab the auger wagon which is fortunately right next to it and uh, Nordic is grabbing the spreader and we can get over to that field and lime it. And whilst Nordic is liming, I'm going to grab the truck and go sell some of our sorghum, but I'll be leaving some for our pigs in the future. But we want lime. I think we need to wait for Nordic to get out of the way. Right, Nordic is full, so let's top up. Right, that is filled up. Nordic has just disappeared off to get a soil sampler because unfortunately we can't seem to get the soil sampling purchased as a service. Um, don't know if it's because the field is in very close proximity and I think it actually goes over the border of the other area so I think it's got a little bit confused. Um, so yeah Nordic's gonna get a soil sampler and do that field and he will then spread the lime we can drop the auger wagon off in proximity so it's there ready and waiting for him to fill up when he needs it's quite a big field so it will certainly use some from the auger wagon a bit heavy this auger wagon especially when it's full well, i think we can leave the auger wagon somewhere here for uh Nordic to come and top up when he needs to and we'll leave the engine on as well as uh, needs the engine on in order to unload. Right over to the truck we go and we'll get the trailer and a load full of sorghum so we can sell that. Here he comes with the soil sampler. Let's get 
getting the handsome Tantra. And I'm going in the Tatra because that's got the most pulling power and that trailer is very heavy when it's full and the biggest New Holland and probably the Schluter as well just can't cope with it up that steep hill. Right here we are, let's get the doors open and grab the trailer. Here we go. Quite fortunately the Tatra has a hitch on the back so that's pretty handy. It's even got a PTO as well. Don't know why I drove out of this silo. I of course needed to get the sorghum. That was a bit silly of me. So we've got 95,000 litres of sorghum. We'll do a full trailer to the cell point and then we will keep the rest for the pigs. Nice and full, so let's get going to the cell point much much better up the hill this one right here we are loads going in there we go cool just shy of 90,000 for our sorghum let's get this trailer back and check in on how Nordic's doing go trailers back and hopefully that is just about right whoops don't tell Nordic okay so Nordic is still soil sampling and he's then got to do the liming so we're gonna get a head start on the seed drilling we'll leave the truck there and hop in the Schluter grab the seed drill put some seed in it we've still got the silo up by the farmhouse to uh, use the seed up then we can get started doing our barley go seed drill So we've got 83% seed left in the seed drill. I think that's going to be good for this build, but we can fill up from the farmhouse silo in time for the next field. I'm just going to get unfolded, and I'll go this way around this time. I seem to always go the other way when we've done this field before. Yeah, we've got barley selected, and we can switch on lower away and get to seed drilling our barley which is nice oh, I'll have to come back and just tidy up that edge server's been a little bit jumpy today can vary sometimes we get a really smooth session and other times not so much it's always up to the server gods as to what kind of service we get and the uh, the ISP gods as well. But here we go, seeding our barley. And as mentioned earlier, barley is needed for pigs. So we've got sorghum left in the silo. That's going to give 50%. 25% from our barley. And then we'll get 20% from soybean. I think it's that way around. It might be slightly different. But then... There's 5% to be got from root crops. We don't have any root crops, so yeah, happy to accept 95% productivity in our pigs for the short term. But I'm sure we'll do some sugar beet or some uh, potatoes at some point. But I'm going to crack on with seeding this field with our barley. Nordic is probably going to come and join me when he's done with liming and we'll take it from there see you in a short while
there we go. We finished planting our barley. We can turn off fold up and we can easily refill the seeds from our silo here at the farm. The yeah, Nordic came to join me at the end just as I got lost in some trees for a moment and I think Nordic just knocked over that flower pot. Oh dear. Yes, let's get the cover open and we can refill seeds. I don't think Nordic needed much refill because he was only doing a little bit at the end there. There we go. Filling up. And next we are on to soybeans. So let's get that selected. The rest of the fields are all going to get soybean. And that's because we've already got some sorghum. We've now drilled our barley. And we need a soybean as the last ingredient for our pigs. I don't know what field is next. We'll let Nordic decide. So it looks like Nordic is going for cow farm field. Soybean selected. So, yep, yeah, let's get lined up, turned on, and lower it away. Brilliant. Good stuff. So yeah, we're going to have a big harvest come along when uh, it's time for these to be ready. And once they are ready, that's the time we can purchase our pig pen and get the pigs set up. We've already got the animal transport trailer, so that's pretty handy. And I think the pig farm is going to go in that... Uh, patch over there on area 47 that we purchased last time and yeah it was the smaller area on the other side of the road which we mowed, tedded and windrowed as well so that's going to be a perfect little spot for us to set up a pig farm which will be good and it means it's uh, not too far from the cow farm so if we're doing general jobs like giving the pigs and cows water they're not too far away from one another excellent well it's on to more seeding Nordic and I will get this done and see you when we're finished
Finishing up the last strip, and that is both fields drilled with soybeans. It was a bit hectic getting both done, and we did want to do the third, the farmyard field, which is behind the cow farm. But unfortunately, we've run out of time for today. It's past five o'clock, so got to be clearing up and heading back. The Varistad seed drill needs a wash and you notice that the Schluter also needs a refuel but uh, we haven't got a fueling station in the yard yet so I'm going to try and address that situation tomorrow in the next session. But there we are, we've finished and uh, that's all nicely drilled. Nice to see the different textures, obviously a brand new field at the area 47, the Hitman field and a sort of more mulched looking texture on cow farm field to the left because that had weeds and the sorghum stalks in it so they obviously got chopped up as we seed drilled haven't needed to tend to the cows today because they've got plenty of hay and water so that's nice and yeah we'll have to have a little check on them next time. But yeah, next time we will have one more field, this field here to the right, to drill with soybeans yet again. And then we should be all set come harvest time to deal with the needs for pigs. Yeah, and I'm hoping next time we might be able to set up the pig farm itself. Might need a bit more cash flow, so we'll see what we're doing and quite timely I'm about to come up to the maple syrup farm you'll notice that we have a hella load of pallets of maple syrup it's been uh, producing like a wildfire it's gone absolutely crazy I've had to move them out of the way so Nordic and I are going to invest in a automatic pallet loading trailer which is really going to help us. But yeah, let's get the seed drill washed, parked up, and then we can head back to the farmhouse. I'll give the old Schluter a wash as well. It's been working hard today. So hard that the fuel tank is nearly fully drained. And God, this seed drill is filthy. All that mess on the discs. Okay, that's looking much better. So let's park up. There we go. That's the best bit of parking I've done yet on this series, I think. Right, we'll leave the uh, the Schluter here. Seem to park it here. Nice red tractor in amongst the red shed. Let's get the New Holland back to the farm. I think maybe Nordic left that hitched up because we're going to be needing the seed drills next time, but we can uh, set that up again. 
Right, just toodling back to the farm. So, been a busy day. We had to turn over area 47, Hitman Field, and once we turned it over, Nordic needed to soil sample and lime it. Whilst he did that, we sold the sorghum, well, a trailer full, and got a bit of money just to keep the bank balance looking healthy. And then we got on to getting our barley in the farmhouse field and then we moved on to soybean in the uh, cow farm field and also the new field uh, area 47 slash the hitman field i think we need a better name for that for sure but yep we didn't get as far as we wanted to today we still got the farmyard field to plant with sorghum but yes Calm Farm was not built in a day, as uh, Nordic said to me whilst we were in the middle of the job. So yeah, next time we've got some more drilling to do and fertilising, and then maybe we can see about setting up our pig farm. But that is it. Hope you have enjoyed watching. Please check out Nordic's channel for his perspective of today's video. Big thank you for your views, likes, subscribes. If you've got any tips tricks or things you'd like us to do feel free to leave a comment all that's left to say is hope to see you again next time and until then we'll catch you later cheers all bye bye